They're Italians. They're uh, <laughs> Laguerian. You can tell. Um, there's just under 20,000 species of bees around the world. Italians are hard workers. They are <laughs> reasonably placid. They don't get too aggressive. Sometimes, but generally pretty good. They still sting. It still hurts. But generally they behave themselves. This hive up in the roof up here, same type of bees, but this is a natural hive. So that's what it looks like, sheets of honeycomb running along out in the wild, in the hollow of a tree, in a log. That hive's been there 11 years. I've been in there once. They just do whatever they want. These hives are control hives. They have to put up with me. So same type of bees, but what makes them a control hive is the rectangle there. That's a frame. So I build that, piece of wax across the middle, the bees come along, build their honeycomb, exactly the same as what's up there. It's just done in the framework and that makes it nice and neat and easy for me to whack it out, give them a new one, let them start again. Okay, if I wanted to take honey out of there, angry bees, very big mess as well, okay? Because I'm going to have to hack away at that honeycomb. Now, there are three different type of bees in a beehive. Almost every bee you can see there, 90 odd percent of them, are worker bees. Who does all the work, boys or girls? Girls. Girls? <laughs> Ignore them. They are girls. You're right. <laughs> girls do everything in a beehive. Only in a beehive. Now, <laughs> she's the one out amongst the flowers. Has anyone here, hands up, anyone's been stung by a bee? Yeah? Oh, really? <laughs> it's the girls that sting. Okay. Yeah, get used yeah, to it. Mate, all your life. All right. So it's the girls that sting. Now, she doesn't live long. If she stings you, she'll die. But even aside from that, that worker bee, she lives about six weeks, eight weeks. She works herself literally to a full stop. Now, fourth thing she collects out of the hive. First thing bees need, same as me and you, they need water to drink, to hydrate themselves. Second thing, the black sticky stuff on the glass here, this is propolis. Propolis comes from the trees, it's the sap, the resin from trees, the bees change it. Very sticky though. So firstly this is bee glue, patch up cracks, strengthen the hive. But more importantly than that, this is like a disinfectant, stops bacteria forming, keeps that hive nice and clean. Very important. Third thing the girls get, some of you will be able to see the light sparkling off the cells here. This is nectar. Nectar is what turns into honey. So our worker bee, she goes out into the flower, she sucks it up, the nectar with her proboscis. Goes in her honey stomach, mixes around in her stomach, she brings it back to the hive. She spews it up, she regurgitates it up, gives it to another bee, that bee will do the same thing. This is what makes it taste nice because what she's doing is she's taking the water out of it. Too much water in nectar, there can be 70%. <coughs> Means bacteria form, it ferments, no good. So regurgitating it up, drops the water level. They blow bubbles in those cells, they fan their wings up against it, they thicken it up, turn it into honey. This is all honey up the top up here. Yeah. Down here as well, yeah. Are you a beekeeper? No? <laughs> no? I'm sure you know a lot. <laughs> so they put this wax cap on the end, that seals it up. I leave it on a jar, lasts forever once they've done that. Okay. Fourth and final thing the girls collect is pollen straight from the flowers. They carry it on their legs. It's baby food, protein and nutrients for baby bees. That is the girls. Then we have boys. Boys are called... Drones. Drones. They're... You are really smart. I was joking. <laughs> you are really smart. Drone bees. Lazy. Useless. Hopeless. <laughs> Good for almost nothing. He has one job. His job maybe, but probably not. Mate with the Mate with the queen, yeah. <laughs> I've got a sore throat. Can you, you just keep doing it? I've been talking all day. Are you sure? Okay. So, <laughs> so he doesn't have a stinger. He can't defend the hive. He doesn't have a long proboscis or tongue. He can't get nectar. He can't work. He stands around. He eats honey. At about one o'clock in the day, he'll go outside, he'll congregate for about an hour or so with his mates, hang out, come back, eat more honey, that's it. In a hive of bees, in that hive there, there's about 50,000 girls, there's about a thousand boys. In winter, not much food. The girls will starve the drones, chuck them out of the hive, because they don't want the boys standing around eating all their honey and not doing any work. Okay, 
one queen bee per hive. These hives that we're looking at, this is half the hive. So there's another wall behind here full of just as many bees. Sometimes the queen is on the other side. I'm going to do my best to find her for you. Now she's not born a queen. She is created. So what that means is if a queen bee dies or leaves the hive, the other bees build what we call queen cells. And a queen cell is a big wax cell that hangs off the honeycomb. The other bees will put a worker egg in there, a normal female egg, and then they'll fill the cell up with... Oh. What? <laughs> they fill it up with... I'm joking. They fill it up with royal jelly. Royal jelly is like bees milk. Now royal jelly's formed in the bees' heads. So royal jelly... Is everything alright? No. She's looking for mother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mum. <laughs> okay. okay. Royal jelly changes her body so the queen bee, she gets a bigger body. So the bee that I'm desperately looking for is about so big. Beautiful elongated body. She kills any other emerging queens. One queen per hive. From that moment on, she eats royal jelly for the rest of her life. She gets a longer life. She can live up to six years. Six years. And she can lay, when she's young, two to two and a half thousand eggs in a day. More than her own body weight in eggs. Unfortunately, she's hiding. She's on the other side of the hive. We can spend an hour in here looking. Anybody want to wait? <laughs> no? Okay. So we're going to keep walking. We're going to go outside, past all the hives, and I'm going to show you how we get our honey out from one of these frames. So just follow. Me and my mate out here. <laughs> okay. Oh, the kids go away. Come on, don't worry, don't be scared.